Joining me now is Scott Caldwell. He's the interim CEO of Soul Gold. Good to see you. Good morning. Now we want to talk about your world-class Cascabel uh, project in Ecuador, but before we get to that, uh, you've been very forthright in, in uh, how you think the company was being run, and I'm just going to quote from a news release where you said, for too long, the weakness uh, has been a culture of non-performance in the corporate office. So you're trying to bring some rigor and cost discipline and, and change the culture overall. So how, how are you doing that? Uh, that's correct. Uh, first, a little bit about my exposure to Cascabel. I, I first invested, bought shares in Cascabel in 2016. So I've, I've known the project, the team in Ecuador for a number of years and have been very excited about it. But you're absolutely correct. It's a, it's a very solid asset, a very strong team in Ecuador and a, a a culture of non-performance at, at, at the higher echelons, and I'm working on streamlining that, flattening the organization, um, eliminating some uh, out-of-country offices. We have a very complex structure at the corporate level, so we're going to get that streamlined and reduce costs. It's just begun, but we're focused on uh, getting the spending under control and, and really maximizing the value of the team in sight and uh, moving the, the asset forward. So, so Cascabel itself, getting back to that, the actual uh, project, world class in terms of scale and economics. Remind investors what, what makes it special. Sure. I mean, I'm pretty simple. Uh, when I first looked at the project, looked at kilometers of core, there was no resource, but it's pretty apparent that they had uh, found, discovered a, a very, very large porphyry copper gold system just by looking at the core. Um, I've worked at Grassburg historically and some other properties like that, so I know what a porphyry, look, a good porphyry looks like. So I was impressed with that, but it's Simple, simple metrics. Good grade makes good miners. It's very high grade, about 0.9% copper equivalent to, uh, between gold and copper. Um, so very high grade. It's large, uh, over half a billion tons uh, in the current uh, resource, and that's uh, only about 22% or so of the overall size. Great metallurgy. Um, there's no uh, uh, poor or bad actors in the core or in the, in the minerals, in, in the deposits, so the metallurgy is very clean, very clean con, good recoveries, and a great jurisdiction. Um, Ecuador is open for business, and we're, we have a great relationship with the government and uh, the local communities we work in. So meets all, checks all the boxes. All right, and Soul Gold now owns 100% of Cascabel. You Absolutely. completed that cornerstone deal, which you say is exciting. So how is it simplifying and strengthening the story? Absolutely, as you mentioned, we now own 100% of the assets, so we get rid of that carried interest. Cornerstone also had a very uh, exciting outside exploration of the tenements outside of uh, Cascabel, so we've added to our, our outside exploration portfolio. And I'm quite confident as we go through the integration process and, and learn more about those projects that they're going to be some of our better exploration targets outside of Cascabel. And uh, they have an in-country, they have a great team that's been together for many, many years. Uh, uh, we've known them for 10 years or thereabouts, so they've got a great corporate team that's, that's going to assist us with with uh, managing the, uh, the development slash uh, expansion of our, uh, of our assets in Ecuador. So we're excited about working with the team. And Scott, you've been striking some notable deals, a 50 million investment from a Cisco Gold Royalty, Zhangji Chop uh, Copper now owns more than 6%. Um, you also have some big shareholders, BHP, Newcrest among them, and I think it was Newcrest that wasn't thrilled with it. So how do you how do you deal with that kind of feedback and keep everybody happy? Basically? Sure. First on the Cisco uh, transaction, the royalty with the Cisco, great group of people to deal with. Technically very savvy, great business people. Um, so they're great partners to have on board with us. And, it, and it's if you look at the economics, which have all been disclosed, it is a good deal for both parties. It's a it's a it's a very fair agreement. And so I'm excited to work with them. JCC that you mentioned, uh, have had limited exposure to them, but they are very technically, very competent technically, good good uh, business people, uh, very impressed with the, the limited dealings we've had with them. BHP and Newcrest, um, you know, not the greatest of relationships right now. Um, and as a matter of fact, both groups voted against me as a director. But we'll work on improving that that relationship. They're they're important shareholders, but no more important than any other shareholder or stakeholder. So we'll keep them informed. Um, I think they'll be happy with the way we're moving, which is reducing our costs, streamlining our, becoming more effective with our resources to uh, m make another discovery. We've made two already with Cascabel and Porvenir, so two, two uh, 
uh, great porphyry discoveries, so perhaps make another discovery, but certainly advance these in a prudent and cost-effective manner. So as you go through this process, Scott, uh, you, you mentioned Cascabel Porvenir, the, the uh, DFS for Cascabel's on hold, the uh, PEA for Porvenir's on hold. What's the timeline there in, in terms of uh, getting through the, this process to out the other side, essentially? Sure. Well, we're, we're still advancing both project, projects, in particular Cascabel. Uh, we're taking a different approach. We brought in a lot of the, uh, the work that we can do and have qualified personnel, technical work I'm referring to, in-house. And we're also focusing on the ground. There's things on the ground that uh, acquiring permits, approvals, um, um, uh, access to land, i.e. Uh, securing the surface rights for tails facility, etc. So a lot of things on the ground that will advance uh, Cascabel project as we move forward. As far as a timeline, we don't have a definitive timeline right now. We are going to continue to advance the projects and de-risk both Port Veneer and Cascabel in particular. Well, thanks Sorry for great, and thanks for setting everybody straight on what's going on with the company. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Appreciate the time. Okay, thanks, uh, Scott Caldwell. He is the interim CEO of Soul Gold.